So if you've ever used any product from Baofeng, namely the UV5R, any similar variant, you've probably been familiar with uh, the other types of microphone inputs that are available, such as the um, clip mic, or the, I don't know what you'd call this actually, it's a earpiece slash microphone that they provide with the radio, as well as the speaker mics. This is the newer speaker mic here, but a lot of you might be familiar with the older one. And if you ever owned one, or knew anybody who did own one, you know that that particular microphone had a very terrible audio uh, input and output. Um, listening to things on the actual speaker, uh, part of the speaker mic was bad, but also transmitting with it was much worse. Um, I'll try to put an overlay on screen just to show you a picture of the older ones. And the reason why is because, well, it's twofold actually. On one hand, they used a really low-end microphone, which they do on all their products, but that one took the cake even for Baofeng. And on another hand, the uh, little hole where the microphone is, see how there's a hole there? Uh, the one on the older one wasn't aligned with the microphone, so you were basically talking indirectly. Um, it wasn't like directly into the microphone. It had to travel, you know, it's it just was a bad design. This one's much better, but it uh, prompted me to think, which is the best microphone? And uh, more importantly, are all of these acceptable to use? Because, you know, a lot of hams in particular are kind of... Uh, I don't want to say snobby, but, you know, if you use a lousy quality microphone, they kind of get, um, not offended, but, you know, they they really, they'll, they won't let you forget about it. So, today I'm going to test all three of these and see which is the best. I don't think I've ever seen anybody do a test on all three of these and compare them apples to apples like this, but I'm going to test the onboard mic on the UV5R, this microphone here with a little TX button, and then this uh, newer speaker mic that is hopefully much better. We'll see which is the best, and we'll see if they're all audible. And uh, in order to eliminate some of the variables here, I'm going to be recording directly onto the computer, um, from, from a Baofeng onto the computer, so you won't have to deal with, you know, the microphone on this camera and also the quality of the external speaker. It's just going to go straight uh, into a digital recording. So, let's get started. Okay, so we're going to do this test on UHF and VHF, uh, just because I know some people will be curious about that. And uh, so first we're going to do the onboard speaker on another Baofeng. Then we're going to do the speaker mic, and then we'll do this guy here, the clip-on, in that order. First we'll do it on UHF, and then we'll do VHF. A test on UHF. We are using the onboard mic on the Baofeng. Test 2, we are using the speaker mic. Again, this is on UHF. And lastly, we have the clip-on microphone and earpiece, and this is the last test for UHF. So now we're on VHF, and we're using the clip-on microphone and speaker. rather the clip-on microphone and earpiece. That's what I meant to say. We're on VHF yet again, and now we're using the onboard mic on the Baofeng. We are on VHF, and we're using the speaker mic on the Baofeng. Well, that actually worked quite well. Um, hopefully you enjoyed this test, and... Uh, ultimately, the conclusion is yours. I have to say that the results were a lot closer than I thought they would be. I really thought that there would be a clear winner here, but... Um, it turns out that all three of them are viable options at the very least. 
So thank you for watching, and I hope to see you again next time.